Good morning, and welcome to Off the Shelves with Kelsey. Today we'll be talking about the newest trend to sweep the globe, the Black Death. Now, there's something interesting about this. It came to Europe in October of 1347 on 12 ships that were sailing the Black Sea that docked at a Sicilian port. Now, when some people who were standing around, they started unloading the ships, and they saw that many of the sailors were dead, and those who weren't dead were deathly ill. Now, they sent them off as quickly as they could, but not before the Black Plague took over Europe. So now, I'll introduce you to one of the guys who kind of sparked this new, I guess, obsession, Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. Hello. Hi, Mr. Poe. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I was born January 9th of 1809. Um, I was the son to beautiful actress, my mother. Uh, father was never around. She passed of tuberculosis when I was three. Um, moving forward, I, I ended up with um, a nice gentleman of the name John, and he also passed of tuberculosis. And uh, my wife, who I recently just married at the age of 13, she also passed of tuberculosis. Wow. Impressive stuff. So, Mr. Poe, can you tell me a little bit about your literary work that kind of, you know, sparked the new interest in this bubonic plague? In particular, The Mask of the Red Death. Of course. So, um... In my complete collection of works, uh, we find The Mask of the Red Death. It is based off of um, my particular uh, interest and experience with tuberculosis and the Black Plague. And so we, uh, we follow a character, Prince Prospero, based off of myself, obviously. And uh, he hosts this lavish party in his mansion, his castle, to hide out from The Mask of the Red Death. And after 40 nights, we see an invader come in and the invader brings the Black Death into the house. And uh, at the end of the night, after going through um, all seven party rooms, everyone dies. Interesting. Of course. Um, well, to learn more about the scientific aspect of this bubonic plague, we're gonna go over to our in-house specialist, Dr. Brennan Godet, to get more of the details on this. Hello, I am Dr. Vernon Gode, and today we are going to be talking about the plague. Welcome to my laboratory. So, as Kelsey said, there's a new plague that's going around the earth that's been inspired by Mr. Poe's work. So this plague is very infectious, and it spreads when a flea bites an infected animal, and that flea then jumps on a human and bites the human. These animals can be anything from rats to mice, chipmunks, prairie dogs, or squirrels. So even if you forsake your furry friends, there's other ways that you can get this disease. If you have an open cut on your arm, or anywhere really, it can get inside, and that's not good. But let's say you don't even have any animals around, or you don't have any cuts. Well, there's still no hope for you because there's a strand of the virus that is spread through the air. So if someone coughs in the room that you're in, you all contract the buboes. Now we're gonna move on to one of our patients to check on the symptoms that she's experiencing. For our viewers today, we have a patient who is experiencing symptoms of the bubonic plague. Can you please tell us what you're experiencing right now? Well, I have a high fever, difficulty breathing. When I cough, I cough up blood, um, nausea and vomiting also. Wow, that sounds terrible. It is, it really is. So, how did you contract this disease? Well, I think I contracted it when my pet chipmunk bit me. Really, a pet chipmunk? Yeah, it was like a baby and I saved it from getting eaten when I was a baby. You can't even trust the baby chipmunks. No, you cannot. It's... <laughs> <coughs> We've got another one. 
We're rolling. Oh, well, thank you for joining us today. And I guess we really did learn Poe does no mo. So to end it on a more positive note, dance break. <laughs>